Hello everyone, my name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant with Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all of the aspects of security concerns such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today we're going to be discussing an interesting concept in encryption and especially in certificate management, certificate revocation list, CRL. First, we're going to go into understanding what a CRL is and why it's needed in PKI management. Then we're going to focus on how it works. Digital certificates issued by Certificate Authority, CA, plays an important role in the encryption world. These certificates create trust between service provider and end user, which in turn helps in safe business transactions. CRL, Certificate Revocation List, is one of the critical elements of certificate world. In this video, we're going to get some clarity on CRLs. Digital certificates provide and ensure trust by creating secure communications in the encryption process. Also, these certificates are signed by the issuing CAs, which validate the certificate owner's identity. Web browsers, when connected to any site using SSL slash TLS protocol checks for any anomalies or issues in the certificates. These anomalies are validated by cross-checking through CRL. So we're going to go into exactly what is a CRL. According to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, a CRL is a list maintained by a certificate authority of the certificates it has issued and revoked prior to the stated expiration date. CRLs contain certificates that are revoked before the actual expiration date. Certificate authority can move the certificates to CRL either irreversibly or temporarily based on the scenario. One important point to note is CRL by definition contains revoked certificates by the CA or the owner and have not yet been expired. This means certificates which are not organically expired as per the predefined timeline. X.509 standard defines the format of a CRL for a PKI. Each entry will contain the revoked certificate serial number, date of revocation, and also time limit in case of temporary holds on certificates. So what are some of the most common reasons a certificate can be revoked before its expiration? Certificates can be revoked before the defined expiration or validity uh, for several reasons. Below are some of the most commonly identified reasons for certificate revocation. The most common and also most important reason can be when certificates private keys uh, or a private key has been compromised. Other reasons include issuing CA itself is compromised. Uh, there's a change in the certificate issuing owner or errors or bugs identified in the issued certificate. Best example of this, when multiple CAs in 2019 revoked millions of certificates issued by mistake with a 63-bit serial number for each instead of 64. Now, here is an example on how a client browser looks when they try to access a revoked SSL TLS certificate. This screenshot shows the browser warning response when they tried to access a website using certificates which are present in CRL. It is crucial for the end user to identify this warning and act with caution. It is highly advised to not access websites with the below warning response. How does CRL work? The client machine or browser initiates communication with web server. Then the web server shares SSL slash TLS certificate with the client. The client contacts CA or CRL issuer for the certificate revocation list. And then once the list is downloaded, client validates the existing certificate with CRL. All right, that's gonna conclude our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about encryption and data protection in detail, please subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, give this video a like so your algorithm is more tuned in to our content. Please feel free to contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if you have any confusion or if you simply want more details. Thank you.